So welcome back for another pickup video, everybody. Thanks again for tuning in. Um, we got a nice little mixture today of uh, some VHS, uh, some computer games, music, transformers, and some electronics. So uh, let's get right into it. And this is all the stuff I could remember anyway. Um, I tend to pick stuff up and just sort of put it away and uh, it just disappears. So let's start off with some Transformers. Haven't looked at those for a little bit. Um, picked up three. This is a uh, War for Cybertron Inferno. Um, this one I'm a little bit on the fence about. I don't know, I might decide to return it. Um, never had him as a kid. And I was never crazy about uh, uh, Inferno. Um, always found him sort of like a boring character. I don't know. Kids are supposed to like fire trucks, but I don't know. For a Transformer, uh, he was never, you know, one that was big on my uh, top 10 list. So on the fence, I may end up just getting rid of this guy. This one was one that I had as a kid. Obviously, uh, the G1 version. This is uh, Sunstreaker. So that was my reason for picking this guy up. My only complaint is there's a color variation difference. Um, and you can't tell. Really. You might be able to tell from the front. But his chest plate is a brighter yellow and more... It looks like it's, uh, it's painted metal, whereas the rest of him is like yellow plastic. And it really just doesn't... You can see the comparison. Uh, more so like on video than on camera. But nevertheless, like I said, he was a childhood uh, transformer of mine. So that was my reason for picking him up. And this guy I had as well. Uh, though later on, I think it was just because he was cheap or something. Uh, run amok. And this guy looks fantastic. The coloring, the black and white. is absolutely amazing. They could have done a better job for this guy. Uh, even his car mode is like really boxy looking. I don't know if you can see that there. The nice, just the way the, the white on this guy is just immaculate. It's a nice white. It's not like an off white. Very bright. So definitely be keeping him and Sunstreaker. Like I said, Inferno, I think I may just uh, dump the boat on it and uh, return him. Uh, picked up this guy from my big box PC collection, even though this is a little box. Uh, the Hunt for Red October. Uh, based on the Tom Clancy novels, obviously, and it's quite quite a heavy box. I'll just show you what's inside quickly. I get it open. So what's cool is it starts off you know, secret uh, Russian, American, actually it's Russian on the top there, uh, documents, and then you open it up and you got two five and a quarter floppies. Love these things, man. Total nostalgia with these things. I'm not sure what the second one is, though, Carriers at War. I don't know if it's like a I don't know if it even applies to this game, if it's a completely different disc. It is for the 64. Oh yeah, this is for the Commodore 64 128. Um, that, it could be an expansion for this game. I, I, I don't know. And then on top of that, they got all this nonsense. Data soft. Uh, frequent buyer coupon, frequent buyer thing, what is this, oh yeah, big poster, it's pretty cool, and this is actually a movie that I did see in the theaters. Uh, Sean Connery and Crit Hoop. 
Harrison Ford? Was that? Yeah, it was Harrison Ford, wasn't it? What is this? Ship recognition chart. That's kind of cool. And then obviously, nice thick, thick uh, manual there. So, anyway, happy to add that. Uh, more so just to get these five and a quarter floppies. I don't know what my infatuation is with that, but what's the hunt for October for the Commodore 64? Grabbed a couple, uh, well, three PS. Uh, two memory cards like I need any more of these But well, one was the red clear clear red one But I've yet to look on and see what's on here Curi always curious to see what people have for save games um, well, Let's get this thing out of the way grabbed two of these well grabbed a pair of uh, outdoor Bose 151 speakers Um, these are, you can find on the back here. Um, compatible with receivers, amps rated from 10 to 80 watts per channel, power rating 40 watts. But they're Bose and uh, pay 10 bucks for the pair. The other one is uh, actually hooked up right now. I was just testing it out. They both work fine. And they're outdoor speakers. So um, I'll find some use for them. Moving on to some VHS. Uh, pick this one up just because I know it's a really kitschy quote unquote horror movie or science movie. Uh, Ed Wood's Plan 9 from Outer Space. Pretty well known. From Rhino Home Video. I've only seen parts of this and more so just like from people making fun of it. So it's supposed to be really bad and that's why people like it. Um, didn't have this concert, concert footage VHS. But this is ACDC uh, Stiff Upper Lip Live. And you probably won't be able to make out the album or the song names on the back there, but I'll put it up close there. Uh, grab this one, probably just to get rid of. Anthrax NFV. It's cool though, this was recorded at the Hammersmith Orion Theater uh, back in 87. So I know that that theater has got a lot of history. I, I'm not into Anthrax at all. I do like this band though. This is uh, the Cult Electric Love, the video singles. She sells Sanctuary Rain, Wildflower, Love Removal Machine. So unfortunately it's not, I, I don't have any live concert footage of the Cult. I'd like to get that at some point. Um, got some, uh, ordered some Bruce Springsteen uh, live DV CDs. This is uh, Springsteen live at Madison Square Garden, New York, June 27th, 2000. And then uh, there's a back. You can just pause that if you want to. If you want to see what's on there. And then the other one I got, this one I'm more excited about. Uh, this is Springsteen and the East Street Band live at Leeds. Uh, First Direct Arena leaves July 24th, 2013. So I'll just open uh, this one up, for example. Uh, this is from uh, BruceSpringsteen.net. It's like uh, an official site of his, fan site. So there's the inside there. There's the back. I'll show you the uh, concert names there, or the songs. And it's not too bad. I think it's really well done. Uh, and I'll just I'll pull one out here. And then each CD has got the same as the cover. 
I'd love to get the actual video footage at some point. But in the meantime, this is good enough. There we go. So two uh, Springsteen live concerts. Again, as I said, I've mentioned that a bunch of times. I'm beginning more into live music. And then got the stack of CDs that I have absolutely no space for, but I picked up anyway. First one is, I'm going to go through this quickly here. I Mother Earth Dig. Um, the Complete Stone Roses. Live Throwing Copper. Love this album. Seen them in concert. And I did say I Mother Earth in concert too. Uh, Bush Razor Blade Suitcase. Violent Femmes, Add It Up. The Archangels. Slick Toxic, Doing the Nasty. James Whiplash. Uh, Seven Mary Three, American Standard. Sarah McLaughlin, something. Surfacing. Neil Young and Crazy Horse. Uh, I can't even make up this title. Problem Array or something like that. I'm not, I'm not familiar with this album because Bill Smith's Greatest Hits. Grapes of Wrath These Days. Ugly Kid Joe, America's Least Wanted. Soul Asylum. Let your dim light shine. Coverdale Page. Moist. Candle Box. Lifehouse. Pursuit of Happiness. John Prime, The Missing Years. Uh, Great White, Psycho City. Watchmen, Silent Radar. Saw these guys a couple times. Really good band. Lowest of the Low, Shakespeare. Uh, Soul Asylum, uh, Candy from a Stranger. Rainbow Butt Monkeys, Letters from Chutney. Uh, Semisonic, Feeling Strangely Fine. Dido, Life for Rent. I love her, man. She is absolutely my type. Smoking hot. Uh, Atlanta Miles, uh, Rocking Horse. Cranberries to the Faithful Departed. Jim Cuddy, All in Time. And another Sir McLaughlin fumbling towards SSC. And I think that's it for this time. So a little bit of a short one, though there was quite a bit of stuff. Uh, leave me a comment below. Tell me what you guys thought about it. And thanks again for tuning in for another weekly pickup video. We'll catch you guys again with another one very soon.